The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Wall Street Money Hour with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. And hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And you have to bear with us with the beginning of our program uh, because we're trying to uh, get certain things straight, uh, dot the I's, cross the T's, and so on. You may notice that the first uh, uh, visual is I got rid of the green screen, which was uh, suggested to me. Uh, I don't know what it was used for, but to block <laughs> to block the rest of the furniture. But then uh, uh, people pointed out you have a, a nice office, so why do you want to block your your furniture? So we got rid of that green screen, and uh, I'm still not sure what the reason for it. Uh, but anyway, you won't see any green today. Uh, in our program yesterday, we tried to give an introductory basis for uh, what the Wall Street Money Hour is all about. And we talked about uh, kind of the basics, uh, talking about the various stocks uh, that we were monitoring and looking at. And you can see on our screen, you know, we have uh, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, Google, uh, the Dow Jones, Adobe, uh, Microsoft, uh, Visa, and Best Buy as the stocks that were considered oversold uh, based on our shorter term cycles. And so the you know, we said that we like to buy things that are low and sell them when they're high, and that's why we use these uh, particular uh, stock selections for that. And I was asked, though, Peter, you know, the Wall Street Monday Hour, you cover uh, and trade a lot of things besides just stocks. You know, why, why aren't you talking about the futures? Why aren't you talking about the ES? or the oil or the uh, gold and all the things that are are uh, uh, moving the, the market and that uh, where everyone in the discord seems to be uh, focusing on uh, and why not contribute to uh, what your cycles are saying about uh, these particular indices. And the reason why I selected stocks to start off the uh, program with uh, yesterday was because there are other programs uh, on TFNN, and many of them are well-respected, uh, esteemed colleagues that we have. Uh, and I mentioned that uh, we all have a different style of analysis, and it doesn't mean that one is right and one is wrong. Sometimes we come up with the same, uh, the same numbers or the same forecasts or the same uh, directional movement on the market. I had mentioned that our overall cycles for the long term indices and stocks were down. So therefore, uh, you are in a defensive nature, uh, not wanting to buy stocks if the stocks are down or not wanting to buy uh, the S&P uh, indices or NASDAQ or Russell or whatever you're interested in. Uh, if the market is moving down and the market is continuing to move down now, it's down 503 points, the S&P is down 69 points, the NASDAQ is down 270 points, and the headline said popular 30-year mortgage rates raises to 8%. Well, the friends of mine that I speak to that are in the market uh, are saying to me, Peter, I'm buying treasuries, uh, getting 5.5%, 5 and 3 quarter percent why even take the chance of being in the, the overall stock market? Well, that makes sense if you have a lot of money. <laughs> you know? If you don't have a lot of money, well, uh, you're not going to be buying these these treasury bills because there's not enough money to buy in the treasury bills, and the five and a half percent, five and three quarter percent is not going to give you, not going to change your life, obviously. So you need to be in the uh, stock market, you need to be able to trade, you need to be able to make money in the stock market. And that's what this program is designed for, uh, in order to help uh, every listener be able to make money within the market following our original form of research and uh, cycle analysis. Now, 
the key here is, is I try to talk basics yesterday about building a, a portfolio with a tone of water because, frankly, I don't know the sophistication of the listeners that are listening to us. I know there are many of them that are, are very sophisticated and, and know a lot of things about the market and trading and so on that I've witnessed uh, looking at the Discord notes. Uh, but then I'm sure there are like maybe people out there uh, that are beginning and trying to tune into this TFNN uh, educational service to find out the basis of investing in the market. So uh, I'm here to serve all listeners and to serve all those that are writing on, on Discord. And it's going to take me time to uh, get used to that uh, and be able to answer the questions. I have to point out that if... Uh, you have a dying need of knowing what the cycles are or the short-term cycles or the long-term cycles are on a particular investment that you are very concerned about uh, because certainly we don't want to lose anyone to be losing money. Uh, you can certainly email me at peterbrunomedia at gmail.com, peterbrunomedia at gmail.com, and I would do the analysis for you and send it back to you on your return uh, email, because I know that's important for people who uh, are listening to our program and want to know about uh, the direction of movement of the investments that they have. I, I try to shy away from the buy, sell, or hold uh, concept that uh, people say, oh, what do you, what's your cycle saying about XYZ or uh, ABC or so on? Because uh, you may be interested in XYZ or ABC, but the rest of the listening audience may not be. And certainly I don't want to lose them by taking the time and doing an analysis of a particular stock that uh, you're interested in, although it's very important to you and it's very important to me as well that you know the directional movement of that particular investment that you own or that you're thinking of buying. So therefore, shoot me an email at peterbrunomedia at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you out and answer answer that particular question. Now, we have, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we have the uh, Wall Street Money Letter, which has been published and written by me for the past 30 years. Uh, and we've had some tremendous calls within the Wall Street Money Letter, dating back to uh, 1987, where we were able to call the crash uh, of the 1987, basically the way we called the crash was we said that if the market fell below, I believe it was around 2,600 on the Dow, uh, the market had seven, 800 points to go down. And sure enough, it got down to the $1,700 area. Uh, that was basically our claim to fame because we were able to save a lot of people a lot of money by getting them out of the market. Certainly our newsletter subscribers are out of the market and our managed accounts were out of the market as well, uh, sitting in cash waiting for the next uh, buy signal that uh, did take place in, I think it was January uh, 19, 1988. Uh, but throughout the years, we've, we've called uh, major tops in the markets and major uh, few crashes that took place. But then again, you know, you don't get a medal for calling a crash. Uh, you get a medal for telling people when to buy before you have to this rally. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. 
as a precious metal gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Uh, welcome back to Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And the market is down, down, basis the Dow Jones Industrial Average over the 560 points, with the S&P down 7170, and NASDAQ is down 283 points. Well, just before the break, we had mentioned that uh, uh, it's, it's great to be able to protect yourself as well as your clients and your subscribers by telling them what to get the heck out of the market. Uh, however, you know, long term, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you called the crash from 2600 down to 1700 on the Dow, but look at it now. So people say, yeah, I got out of the market, but you know, look how far the market has gone up over the years uh, since your call to get out which was a temporary call, as I mentioned. Okay, so what we do is in the Wall Street Money Letter, uh, every Monday before the opening, we do a weekly market analysis and forecast. Uh, during that weekly market analysis and forecast, I tell you what's going on in the market and what our cycles are forecasting, uh, the markets to move up or the markets to move down, and we give specific uh, levels that we suggest are support zones and resistance zones. Well, that kind of gives you an overview of what the week is going to be uh, within the market, or at least what we hopefully believe the market is going to be. Uh, what I've learned over the years is that uh, any forecast that anyone gives uh, up or down uh, doesn't mean anything because uh, the forecast is always wrong. What is always right is the market. So even though someone gives a forecast of the market moving up and the market moves down, oh, it's wrong. However, the market is, is correct because the market tells you where the markets are going and that's what you have to pay attention to. And that's why we view cycle analysis, which is ever changing. It's not a, 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 a snapshot of just something. It's, uh, we don't use technical analysis such as moving averages or MACD or RSI or, or what other people may be using <clears throat> under technical analysis because basically that could be incorrect and it doesn't change. Uh, what does change is the cycles of a particular investment or the cycles within the overall market and that's what we pay attention to and that's what we need in order to keep our subscribers and investors on the right side of the market. For an example, in addition to the weekly market analysis, as I think I mentioned yesterday, we have action alerts. 
And an action alert is when there's an alert that I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe there's uh, uh, an action that the subscriber needs to take. Normally, it's in the area of uh, when to buy a stock or when to buy the market or when to buy uh, whatever we are recommending or when to sell for that matter if the market is going against a particular position. I had mentioned by sending out an action alert, a buy alert, okay, the subscriber has three choices. One is they could pick up the phone, call the broker and, and follow us. Two, they can ignore it if they don't have any money or they, or they already own that particular investment. Or three, they can track us, which is at the beginning of a introduction, introductory of a subscriber to see, well, how, how good is this a market forecast that this person is making. Uh, however, whether you buy or ignore or track, we're obligated to send you an action alert if we decide to sell that investment, win, lose, or draw. Now, I have on my, my screen here uh, an action alert that I sent out on Thursday, uh, 92823. I hope, uh, hope, hope you people could see it. And actually, I said then, and this was the Thursday, 928, uh, we have uh, suggested on previous alerts that the months of September and October are seasonally down months. September continues its downtrend. However, seasonally lows are usually seen in October. Well, let's hope that's the case uh, this October with uh, the market down uh, basis, the uh, the ES at 42.53. I think it probably has another 50 points to go down uh, before the lows of October can be registered, if not further down. Okay, we continue on by saying a little little known end of the month trading cycle begins next week. <clears throat> and... and uh, some form of rally should be expected. We continue adding to oversold positions with a toe in the water approach in our attempt to build larger positions over the longer term by adding two positions at lower price levels. Today, our concierge trading uh, account, Wall Street Money Letter, is attempting to buy Amazon at 124.44, <clears throat> which was currently down at 148. Uh, and buy limit price of 122.50. In addition, we're trying to buy Nvidia at 416.58 and Netflix at 370. Well, <clears throat> I have to tell you that <clears throat> the uh, none of those levels, lower levels, were hit during the time of that action alert. So therefore, uh, no buys were were uh, attempted. And how, however, the the prices, even with the declines over the last few days, are higher than the price purchase points. I also mentioned yesterday that uh, these numbers that we configure on an AI basis or omective uh, configuration uh, are only good for one day. So therefore, the numbers that we put in on the action alert were only good for that one day and Markets close at four o'clock. The following day, we do our research. We come up with new numbers, and the numbers would be different to buy or sell on every different day because the market is different uh, every day. Okay, so we uh, we uh, mentioned that uh, 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 the stocks that we've been looking at uh, that are oversold, uh, we hope to uh, continue to. Uh, identify the low risk investments uh, for these stocks at the time they reach uh, buy levels. And hopefully, once we buy them, uh, the market will rally as was to be expected. And we'll be able to uh, uh, make money for the subscribers based on our, our model portfolio. Okay, in addition to that, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, in the newsletter, we have a list of these stocks similar to the chart pattern that we're showing here. And we're giving you the actual numbers of the support levels and resistance levels of these particular uh, stocks. Uh, now, as I mentioned earlier, we're using stocks because uh, 
other hosts on TFNN are, are using uh, futures. So we wanted to be, be a little bit different at the outset of the program by talking about uh, stocks at first. Uh, <clears throat> you can make money buying stocks. You can make money trading stocks. Uh, you can make money in different areas of the market, including inverse uh, ETFs or inverse positions that you want to take advantage of if you think the market is going down and you want your investment to move up while the rest of the market is moving down, then you have those uh, positions that we monitor as well and we would be listing within the uh, Wolf's Point letter within the action letters. Okay, we'll be right back after this break. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we were saying that overall our cycles can can view uh, basically anything that's being traded. And therefore, uh, whether you want to go long or you want to go short or you want to go ETF or you want to go uh, futures, uh, we're able to do the analysis of the directional movement of that particular issue. Now, on the uh, 
we spoke about this, the stock portfolio of oversold stocks yesterday, and here's an example of the inverse Dow Jones Industrial Average. We talked about our Bruno Oscillator, which shows, if you go back to March, you show the very top of the SDOW, which is the inverse Dow, at around 31, and that was the resistance area, okay? And if someone wants to take advantage of that resistance area, and if we uh, recommended the SDLW within our particular newsletter, we saw the SDLW go down uh, to the next support level, which was like 25. And then from 25, it gave us a buy signal. And remember yesterday, I mentioned that these support levels tend to hold. So that's why uh, I was not criticizing, but I mentioned that every textbook that I've ever read uh, mentions the fact that never uh, always use a stop order because no one knows how low an investment can go. Uh, and that's good advice if you don't have access <laughs> to uh, cycle analysis or as access to our uh, uh, research uh, because you don't know how far down the market could go. So therefore, here, in this particular case, we got down to the 24 and a half area, and you can see it pretty much respects the fact of that support level, okay? It may go down another half a point, uh, but basically it's not gonna go all the way down before it gives us a buy signal, and the buy signal generated uh, a movement back up to 28 on the SDLW. Okay, that again hit resistance line of the Bruno Oscillator, telling us to get out or to sell. And sure enough, selling at 28, we get down again to the support levels of, of, of 24. Now here, the support levels of 24 uh, did not hold, and, and our cycles told us that it not, was not gonna hold, and it moved down to the next level of 22, and that's where we got the next buy signal at 22, moving back up to resistance at 25, back down to 23, that never really got down to the support level, uh, which is okay, before turning around, and then moving up to uh, 27. Remember, this is an inverse of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, so it's not a, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an inverse that takes advantage of going up when the market is moving down. Well, certainly this has moved up while the market has been correcting and moving down. And you can see that we're up uh, here uh, pretty much to the resistance level. Uh, however, it's not a straight across line as you see here, uh, you know, which would be more, you know, more, more emphatical of, of a resistance level, but it has a little lip up meaning that it's possible that it's going to continue to move move up uh, before moving down. What we're looking for is a straight across uh, resistance area. And once we get that, then we're able to identify the fact that the SDOW inverse is moving down, which means that the Dow Jones Industrial Average will be moving up. Okay, so that's the case here. Here, if we look at the Dow Jones industrial average, what we looked at yesterday, you see the opposite of what we were talking about with the ETF, inverse ETF. So our cycles are not impartial to being long or being short. Our cycles are, 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 are partial to making money within the market. And when in doubt, stay out. And that's what we try to do for our, our subscribers. So the action alerts work uh, not every day, but however, when we see something that subscribers should take advantage of in the area of, of, of a buy signal or buying, whatever, uh, then we send out an action alert. And the action alert is sent out. And as I mentioned earlier, you have three choices. Once you receive the action alert of uh, what you want to do, if you want to take advantage of the action alert as well. Now, there are... There are he said yesterday there were two ways of making money. There's, you can buy high and sell higher, which a lot of people do. They they see a stock that's been going up and they say, hey, this stock's going to continue to move up, and uh, 
And so let me buy it at this point. And suddenly it's like playing musical jazz as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you're buying it, and then when the music stops, you got to make sure that there's a chair for you. That's the game that we paid uh, many years ago at, at, at parties. Now, uh, so you're going to see a lot of a lot of recommendations and a lot of stocks that are, are being followed. We also are able to use the uh, 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 futures, and we track basically the ES. Uh, if uh, we're, we're confident in the S&P 500 uh, moving up, or if we're not that sure, we'll use the MES, which is the micro of the S&P 500. Now, the ES moves up $50 a point, uh, 10 points is $500. The MES moves up $5 a point. So that's 10 points, $50. However, it also moves down $5 a point uh, so you're either losing $50 or you're losing uh, $500. So depending on the confidence of the cycle, uh, we'll uh, use the ES or MES within our trade recommendations for the Wall Street Money Letter. Now, we follow the energy with the MCL, uh, which is the micro of the CL, which is the oil, which has come down quite a bit from the $93 level uh, to currently now at 89.34. Uh, okay, we also follow gold, uh, and gold has moved down from almost $1,950 to $1,840, and today's even down uh, seven seven point uh, uh, seven dollars uh, uh, and then we look at the actual stocks. Apple's down a dollar eighty. Uh, the Nasdaq is down two hundred eighty-five. Uh, points. Amazon's down 475. Netflix is down 537. Google is down a dollar 60. Uh, Tesla is down four dollars and ninety cents, and Nvidia is down eleven dollars and eighty six cents. Still above our um, our stocks that we bought within the uh, portfolio. Uh, however, uh, the bond market is down. A dollar twenty-two, uh, one twenty-two, uh, to one ten twenty-three, and uh, Bitcoin. If you're following Bitcoin, is down six hundred and seventy dollars to twenty-seven thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, we'll be right back after the short break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. 
tfnn.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And uh, a few minutes ago, I was talking about the newsletter, the Wall Street Money Letter, which is not available as yet based on the TFNN uh, newsletter section of that. But I just want to give you a little preview to what exactly uh, it is. Okay, here is uh, me, uh, the Institute of Wall Street Studies, something I founded uh, 30, 40 years ago. Uh, the Wall Street Money Letter. Weekly market analysis and forecasts. And this is where I put in the weekly market analysis for uh, what took place last week and what we expect to happen this week. And in addition, we would have issues under consideration. And the issues under consideration was this would be the symbol, uh, the long term cycle, the minimum upside target, the minimum downside target, the short term oversold, short term over. Bought and the trading strategy. Within the trading strategy, we would say, as we showed yesterday, uh, if it's a buy, buy at this point, buy at that point, buy at that level, limited buy orders to be placed uh, just for that day. Okay, and then the uh, Wall Street Money Letter that describes the uh, proprietary analysis that we created, uh, which we use uh, algorithm trading and the uh, action alerts uh, throughout uh, uh, the week. Uh, we say it's suitable for various investment styles, short-term stock trading, low price stocks, New York Stock Exchange, exchange-traded funds, uh, ETF trading strategy, uh, index futures trading, uh, overnight 24-hour futures and stocks trading, options trading strategy, and uh, and then here we go down to uh, meet the members of the Wall Street Money Letter. Uh, is myself, and this is Megan Ramsey, uh, Director of uh, Algorithmic Research. Uh, and she work, works overnight, giving us, not overnight, but she works at night, giving us the report for 24-hour uh, trading. And she also updates us in the, in the morning for the opening of the market, as well as uh, now, uh, just before the, you know, the radio program. This is my daughter, uh, Dr. Ellen Ramsey, Director of Proprietary Analysis. Uh, some of you may remember her radio program here in South Florida, uh, which she did called Buy, Sell, a Hole. Uh, she's now a uh, professor at Lynn University, a uh, local college here, and, uh, and she... Um, uh, she's in her own right as far as being a professor and being very, very popular uh, within uh, Loon University. Uh, so that's our, so there's Ellen, there's my Ellen Ramsey, my grand, Megan Ramsey, my granddaughter, and there's myself as the creator of the psychoanalysis. And uh, that's, that's what the Wall Street Money Letter uh, uh, consists of. Now, yesterday we mentioned looking at some of these stocks that we have um, close to very support levels. Here we show the S&P 500, 
is Apple seems to be bouncing from its support level. Uh, Netflix seems to be bouncing from its support level. Amazon seems to be bouncing from its support level. Uh, the Qs, same thing. Dow Jones, still going down, but it's uh, very oversold. Uh, Adobe, bouncing. Lowe's, still oversold. And, you know, if you look at Lowe's and, uh, and uh, Home Depot, they uh, pretty much look the same chart. This is Home Depot. I just sold you Lowe's. I had a client uh, from Chicago who uh, was an owner of uh, these, these malls, uh, uh, retail malls. And he said to me something which I'll never forget. He says, you know, Lowe's will only build, build a Lowe's store close to Home Depot. <laughs> you know, so. and, uh, and sure enough, whenever I see a Home Depot, I know there's a, there's a Lowe's uh, a couple of blocks away. So that was the, the strategy of Lowe's wanting to be close enough to, uh, to Home Depot. Uh, okay, then we have uh, uh, Microsoft, okay, is bouncing. Uh, Visa seems to be holding support. And uh, that uh, Best Buy seems to be holding support as well. Uh, so, you know, what do we think about this? The market's moving down. I said that the, the S&P was at, uh, DES is at 42.62. Uh, it's rallied from a low of 42.51, uh, up uh, 13 points from that low level at uh, when our program just started uh, at 2.15. Uh, so basically, uh, anyone that purchased the the uh, ES at uh, 42.52 are, are up 12 points, or uh, basically $600 on that particular trade. Uh, we like to trade. I like to trade. I like to trade during the day, uh, prior to the the TFNN uh, program. Uh, and you want to be on the on the right side of the market. Uh, if there's an opportunity to make money. And the way I trade is based on Megan Ramsey's uh, algorithmic trading. She does, does, devises a, a level where the market or stock or index should move down to, which is a support level. So if you want to buy, we're looking at the prices of of forecasted support level. That's why I said yesterday we place three orders usually. Uh, we have three, three identified three areas where the market could move down to. So we place one third of our money in one area, which is usually exercised. And then we place the second order at a, at a lower price level, which sometimes is exercised. And then we place the third order at the very bottom of the buy level, uh, which is only exercised if there's a panic in the market, as it was today. And chances are those those orders were executed. Uh, so if we're buying at those bottoms of the market, we take advantage of the rallies that are just taking place right now uh, in the market. And therefore, you can make a decision as to uh, take your profit and, and go home. Uh, or, or, or take your profit and, and wait for an opportunity to buy at a lower point once again uh, to the lower levels within uh, Megan Ramsey's analysis of the, uh, 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 these, these target, target areas that we're, uh, we're identifying with. We do the same with stocks. Uh, Every day we have these stocks that we just listed on this uh, uh, chart program, and she does the analysis of what prices we think these if we're buying. In this particular case, we want to buy at the lows. Uh, we we get three levels that we can place our buy orders. So in the morning before the market opens, or any time during the day, uh, we place our buy orders uh, at those levels. And at the end of the day, one, two, or three are executed and that achieves what we wanted to achieve. Uh, we'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And uh, as we were mentioning uh, prior to the program, that uh, our cycle analysis can be viewed on anything that is tradable, uh, including the uh, stocks that are moving up or the stocks that are moving down or inverse uh, positions as well. I notice on my board here that the SOXS, the Direction uh, Semiconductor uh, Index, is up 6.43%. Uh, to uh, from 11.75 to uh, 71 cents, and that should get everyone excited about the semiconductors. Uh, and if anyone is is thinking of buying the uh, the semiconductors, because the bullish direct direction fund uh, SOXS is is uh, uh, this is a uh, three times uh, three times bear of the uh, semiconductors. So basically. It's moving up to on our chart that I'm showing is lo looking up, moving up to resistance, and now it's moved down from resistance on its way down to support. So that kind of tells you that uh, if it's on its way down to support, uh, basically the, the the position would be uh, questionable at, at this time. You know, it's it's funny how. Uh, uh, th things in life change, life-changing things that 
uh, direct us into a particular uh, field of, of study or a particular uh, area. Uh, when I was uh, a teenager, after school, I worked in a butcher shop. And there were two brothers, the Pizzamenti brothers, uh, that would were partners in this butcher shop. And I used to come in after school. Uh, actually, I would deliver any orders that they had. But my job was to turn on the radio and to first go to Aqueduct and get the, the winners and losers from Aqueduct on that particular day. And then I would check the Wall Street meat letter and the stocks that were coming up or down. Well, the brother that was in the horses was always sad. The brother that was in the stock market was always happy. This uh, program was the Eat Saint. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien.